Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Maryam Horayat at Arya Dental, a holistic, biological, integrative, cosmetic, and zirconia dental implant center in South Orange County of California. Today I'm going to talk about PRF or LPRF, PRP, and how do we use it in dentistry. Before we jumping, let me remind you quickly about our website, aryadentalcare.com for holistic and biological dentistry. LPRF or leukocyte platelet-rich fibrin, also known as PRGF, plasma-rich growth factor, and PRP, or platelet-rich plasma, are one of the relatively newest procedures in dentistry that allow your biological dentist to use 100% autogenous matrix derived from your own blood cells to promote wound healings and induce the regeneration and formations of new bone and tissue and graft stabilization naturally without any additive chemicals, foreign bodies, so no pharmaceutical side effects and no disease transmissions. It is very effective, painless, and 100% biocompatible procedure because it's simply from your own blood. LPRF process basically concentrate platelets three to five times much bigger than what's found in your whole blood. In addition to platelets, LPRF is also rich in leukocyte white blood cells, which play a critical role in healing process as a mediator of inflammatory and vascularization processes. Also, the fibrin in LPRF is a protein polymer mesh that consolidate the cloth and progressively the regenerative cells during the wound healing. This is LPRF and this is PRP. Let's talk about how it is obtained and the benefit in dental treatment. How are PRP or LPRFs are made? It's very easy, safe and convenient procedure. First, we're going to perform phlebotomy and basically a small amount of blood is drawn immediately before the dental procedure while the patient is getting numb. Then, our red blood tubes are placed into the medical graded centrifuge for 10 to 13, 14, 15 minutes to spin and separate and concentrate certain important cells and active proteins. After centrifuge, the blood is separated into three layers. Number one, clear liquid or plasma layer. Number two, red layer rich in red blood cells. Number three, yellow thick layers, which is actually the PRF layer. Then we separate these layers and use thick yellow layer, which are LPRF layer, which is also very rich in many growth factors that enhance healing. We also use white tubes for uh, forming large clear liquid or plasma layers, which are the PRP for soft tissue healing and bone graft preparation. PRF and PRP can be used in clinical dentistry for many ways. Number one, bone grafting. This includes socket preservations after tooth extraction, dental implant grafting, sinus lift, ridge or jawbone augmentation, closure of a cleft lip or cleft palate deformities. Number two, bone repair. LPRF can be also used in facial trauma reconstruction, repairing of defects due to tooth removal or removal of excess mass or even cysts. Number three, for jawbone cavitation surgery. Number four, gum surgery or osseous surgery for periodontitis or gum disease. Number five, PRP can also be adjunct treatment with laser-assisted regenerative uh, procedure to promote healing for periodontitis or gum disease. In our office, we not only use LPRF, but also frequently use a technique to make our LPRF ozonated to enhance wound healing even more and fight infected sockets after extractions and abscess. The reality is that almost all patients report a much greater degree of comfort immediately after the oral surgery procedure. 
There are also several more distinct, well-known benefit of PRF or LPRF and PRP. LPRF and PRP graph accelerate proper healing process after extraction, even after wisdom teeth extraction and dental implant placement. Number two, it also makes the patients less inflammation. Therefore, patient has less post-op pain after dental procedure. Number three, they drastically decrease the facial swellings after extractions, especially impacted wisdom teeth extraction. Number four, they enhance osseointegration or bone formation for implant treatment and improve strength of bone integration to the dental implant. Number five, they eliminate or significantly reduce the chance of extremely painful dry socket formation after a tooth extraction, especially in the lower jaw after a wisdom tooth extraction. Number six, they considerably reduce the risk of hidden jawbone infection or osteonecrosis, also known as jawbone cavitation, by increasing blood flow to the extraction socket. In my previous video on YouTube, I explained the danger of jawbone cavitation. Number seven, they reduce the risk of post-op infection by sealing the wound away from infection agent. I hope you found this video very helpful. Please make sure your dentist uses LPRF and PRP for extraction and dental implant placement for a better healing. You're gonna be much, much happier. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our weekly videos for your oral health.